Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update. The Jaguars announced their practice schedule for training camp coming up when it's open to the public. They show up on Thursday the 25th and then the 26th is their first practice and that will be at 9.55 in the morning. Now the morning practices are the only ones that the public can come to. They'll probably have a walkthrough in the afternoon. Remember the new CBA doesn't allow them to have two days so to speak. So the morning practice will be the big practice, 9.55 from Friday through Tuesday. So that gives you Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which means they'll probably be in, bat in pads Monday for the first time at 9.55 in the morning. Tuesday they'll be off, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 9.55 in the morning as well. And then that's Saturday, 6.45 in the evening for the scrimmage. What Gus, Bailey, uh, Gus Bradley has done here, and I've said Gus Bailey a lot, it's because we used to have a general manager here at Channel 4 named that. But nonetheless, Gus Bradley has gone ahead and moved this uh, thing to the morning to avoid the thunderstorms for the big practices where he wants to get most of the work done. So obviously a pretty good move is they'll try to uh, get things done early on. Those are the only practices that will be open to the public and then obviously the two preseason games, the two exhibition games, which will come up 15 days after camp begins. Hey, uh, Homer Bailey threw a uh, um, no-hitter, almost a perfect game, just one walk. It's the second no-hitter of his career. He also threw a no-hitter within 20 starts. Puts him in some pretty elite company. Obviously, Johnny Man Vandermeer only got to throw back-to-back no-hitters. But also, I mean, Nolan Ryan, who did it twice, uh, as well as Sandy Koufax. I mean, these are, these are legendary names. Not that many guys have been able to do that. It's the second career no-hitter, as well as the Reds beat the Giants. Three to nothing was the final. Uh, Suns in the second half have had a tough job uh, scoring runs, basically. That's what it's come down to. But uh, Jake Marisnik, if healthy, may not be around much longer with a bottom of the ninth two-run home run to win the game for the Suns 6-5 over the Blue Wahoos on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, this is the kind of hitter that they know Marisnik can be and the kind of clutch player that they expect him to be. Uh, they didn't expect him to be here in Jacksonville this long this year, so if you get a chance to see him, much like Cruz, much like Stanton, you know, guys like that who are in the starting lineup now in Miami, take an opportunity to see uh, what he's up to. And um, uh, it'll be worth the price of admission, that's for sure. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik GMC Buick video sports update.